Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a super jump ability in CV2 or circuits. And I don't feel like we should waste any time since this is a tutorial and let's just get started. That was my maker pen. Okay anyways, so we're going to go to our palette here on our maker pen. And we're going to go to circuits right here. We have the circuits tab right here. And then in here now we're gonna get our chips that we need to actually make the super jump function. So first we're gonna get a get local player. Here it is. A get local player. Now you don't actually have to press the circuit, you can just search in palette, that's what I do, but you can also do but if you want to be more like um, organized and see like only circuits, then you can do that. So when we got the get local player, we're gonna get the player, the player left hand position and the player right hand position. Place them out like this. There it is. That's the rotation, wrong. There it is. <clears throat> and after that, we're gonna get a vector, two vector splits. organizing a bit this I'm a bit of an organizing freak <laughs> we're gonna get that's my palette we're gonna get a greater two greater or equals okay then we're gonna get two or uh, an or chip we're gonna get an if chip gonna get an event receiver and in this event receiver you want to configure it to be 30 Hertz okay great we're gonna get a velocity add that's reflect that's out perfect it's a bit hard to see when the palette is all over the place okay <clears throat> We're now going to get a bool variable because we need a bool variable so we're going to make a cooldown to this and if we want it to work we're going to need a cooldown system because otherwise you can jump infinitely and then that's not what we want. Oh yeah, on top of that, I forgot to mention this but we also need an AND chip here. There we go, place that there. Organize a bit. Okay, there. Good. So yeah, we're gonna take a bool variable and we're gonna clone it over here. <clears throat> we're gonna grab a delay. And the, the same, we're gonna clone the same bool variable again and place it at the right side of this delay. And we're gonna also, now this is not something you have to do, but you can do this for detail. Now I'm gonna get two show local subtitle. Place one there and one there. <clears throat> Great. Now these are all the chips. Well, not really, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, cop we're gonna get two more, but these are only just for fixing things so that it works actually, because once. Um, because we need to make the bool variables true when we join so that you can actually jump when you join. Um, and for that, we're gonna have to make like just a, a two circuit thing up here. Um, we're gonna put another bool, we're gonna put the bool variable there and configure this event receiver to be room loaded. Okay, that is all the chips that we need. Um, now let's get started to wiring. Alright, so now we're on our step to wiring the chips together and actually making it work. So, we're gonna wire this get local player to the left hand position and right hand position. Then we're gonna wire the left hand position to a vector split and the right hand also to a vector split. 
what we're gonna do with these vector splits is we're gonna get the Y coordinate of our hand and place it into the A port on the greater or equal. Now configure the B ports on both of these to be two. The higher the number, the higher the hand has to be. So if I put a higher number, I have to reach my hand higher. But the lower it is, the, like the lower the hand, my hand has to be for it, you know, to actually make the jump. <clears throat> We're gonna wire these two results of the greater or equal to the OR chips, or the, to the OR chip, and then the result of that to the AND chip. We're also gonna wire the bool variable output to the AND, and we're gonna make this one true. Now, what we can do now is we're gonna name these variables to be jump ready, for example. And make sure that the variable is local. Now, why do we want it local? Since if it's synced, then that means that whenever someone jumps, everyone will have a cooldown, which is not what you want. You only want the cooldown for the player who actually commenced the jump, so we want it local. Configure these other ones, or you could actually just do this after you've named one. We can just clone and copy. It makes my life a whole lot easier. There we go. I'm just gonna place the one up here. I'll just wire this really quick so that it actually works. So I'm, I'm just going to explain what this does really quick. So I'm wiring the event receiver room loaded to this bool variable which we have down there to true. Now what does that mean? It means that whenever I load this room in, like save it and when it loads, this will become true. And why we need it true is because when it is true is when we can actually jump. If it starts off, because when we join the room originally, it's going to be starting off false. And that's not what we want, so we want it to be true. So we're going to put this down, and whenever it loads in, it will be true. So you can jump immediately, and you don't have to do a bunch of other things to get it working. <clears throat> okay, um, let's get back to the wiring. So we're going to wire the result of the AND chip to the IF chip here. And then we're going to wire the 30 hertz to the IF um, input here. Um, let's actually do that a bit later. Let's wire up all the other things before we actually get it working. Okay, so the if chip, wire the then port to the velocity add. The target port goes to the local player. And the direction, we're gonna get a vector create. I forgot to place that in. Silly me. So we're gonna take a vector create. Wire that to the direction, but we're gonna add about 3 to the y. You can add more, the more the y value is, the higher you'll fly up. The lower it is, the, f the, the lower you'll actually go up in there. <clears throat> then we're gonna wire the output of the velocity add to this boolean here, jump ready. And we're gonna set it to false. Because this is what we're doing now. Whenever we're jumping, or whenever our jump is ready, the boolean is true. Whenever we have jump, we want the boolean to be false because then we because then we show that oh we have jumped now and let's wait a bit because we're gonna make a cooldown now <clears throat> so to do the cooldown part we wire this orange pin to this run here or the output of the boolean variable to the delay on the run we're gonna wire the after delay to the cancel and then the cancel output to this bool that has true in it now the delay is how long you want your cooldown to be I'm just gonna put seems like reasonable and you can also wire this run output of the delay to the show local subtitle and then you can change the subtitle to be like jump on the cooldown there you go and then after it had after the boolean has set its value to true then wire the output of it to the show local subtitle and say like jump is ready and make the the cooldown and i'd make the duration of this text a bit shorter like one second just because you don't need a three second subtitle just to show that the jump is ready <clears throat> and the last step we're gonna do is we're gonna wire this 30 hertz to this if so it actually starts working all right that was all the wiring we had to do let's give it a shot so if i put my hand above my head actually let me check real quick yeah, good thing to do. Before we even try, we need to save since we have that contraption up there that turns the boolean true whenever we load it in. So we're gonna save real quick. Okay, so now this boolean should be true. Yes. Now, if we put our hand up, 
You see, we jump up, jump on cooldown, jump is ready, and then we can jump again, <clears throat> and jump is ready. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. Now, this is now uh, currently I'm jumping with my right hand, but for those with left, but those who are left-handed can just do left hand instead, since we put um, the left hand and right hand position. Great, we made now a functioning like kind of like a super jump system. I guess you could say. But yeah, this was um, very fun to make. Now, this is probably like, this is my first tutorial in VR, by the way. So yeah, I, I may have some flaws in that, but I'm still happy with the outcome I did on this. <laughs> yeah, but if you enjoyed the video and want more tutorials in the future, just let me know because I'll gladly do more. I'm a circuiteer in CV2. I'm a circuiteer in Rec Room. Well, what else can I say? <clears throat> But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. Be sure to turn on the notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a new video to my channel. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!